Welcome to Scratch Saturday, where every week we look at one of the projects I've made in Scratch and we analyse it and look at how I made it. Uh, this week we're going to look at probability in maths and we have a character here called the instructor who's going to pick four, uh, one of four colours, so here are the four colours, and you have to guess, he says, who do you think will win? And the winner is the last one to be eaten by him. Now I'm looking at the odds here and I'm going to go red. So I'll click on the tick, he's eaten the blue, see, not a good guess really in the end. And it looks like um, the green is a winner. Now he has to eat him first before the game ends. I'm sure he'll be eaten in the next few seconds. Here we go, I'd say. There we go, he's cornered. So green was the winner. So how did I create this project? Let's have a look inside. The stage, the stage is set to a blank screen. You can change it to anything you want. Uh, there's no coding in it. And really we're going to look at um, the colors first. There's basically two items code for each one, both the same. When you click on the green flag, basically all it does is it puts it in a random place on the screen, so we never know when it, where it's going to be. Uh, it's the same for the blue one, same for the green one, and same for the yellow one. Okay, so that's it. We also, um, when you receive, uh, we're also going to receive something called move on, and move on is a broadcast that will happen with the instructor. And basically, while that's happening, um, it's going to move a number of steps um, around the screen. So that could be um, uh, one step to ten steps around. That makes them faster or slower depending on depending on what you want, if it's on the edge of the bounce. Now, if it touches the instructor, this is this guy here, then it's going to change the score to minus one. So, this, uh, so just to let you know, the score is set at four at the start, and basically we're trying to get down to zero. So once it touches one, uh, it, it, the score will go down to minus one. And we also set the last one to be red. Okay, So whenever it touches the instructor, that basically says the last one to hit the instructor is red. Now that's uh, that 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 code is handy enough to know because the very last last one that'll be hit is the one that wins. And anyway, once it's uh, hit, it hides, so you lose lose luck. But it's the same for the blue, same for the green, and same for the yellow. So last one and score are the two variables we need to remember. If we look at the instructor's code, it's just one big long bit of code, and there's a few variables here. The score is four, so we know if the one of these counters hits the uh, instructor, it'll go minus one. So it'll go if it hits red first, it'll go to three, two, one, zero. So when the score actually equals zero, this is when the game will finish. So we just need to make sure that uh, you um, keep that in mind. And the guess is set to nothing at the start because we have to ask what who do you think is going to win, and that's picking one of those colors and the guess is actually going to be that answer so guess so if we but in our game we picked red so guess is going to be set to red so guess is red score is four and then we broadcast move on now remember when we broadcast and uh, move on that made these guys move around the screen we get the uh, instruction to point in the direction and what he repeats until the score goes to zero so he's going to keep eating these uh, colors uh, it's also going to move in a random number of steps and bounce and it has two costumes two costumes are open mouth and closed mouth um, until the score equals zero, uh, once it, uh, the score equals zero, it moves to the last bit of code, and it looks to see whether the last one. So basically, remember, every time it hit, it ate something, it changed the last one to be the correct color. So when it ate red, last one equals red. When it hit blue, uh, last one equals blue. So basically, the last one he eats. So if the last one is equal to the answer you gave, which is your guess, okay, so the guess, then you say well done, or else you say unlucky. That's pretty much it. I'm sure those of you uh, in the know can make this game a lot more exciting. Um, I certainly think uh, one of the challenges you could make to yourself is that once he eats uh, the colour that you've picked and it's wrong, then uh, it could stop the game rather than waiting till the end. But I'll leave that up to you. This, uh, put your comments below if you can, um, and I'd be delighted to read them. I uh, hope this helps, and uh, best of luck, and we'll see you next Saturday.